All right, Choice Troop here, Bike Man Performance. Today we have the uh, Stage One kit on the dyno. Uh, it is on the Matrix 850. Uh, stage One consists of a Y pipe, torque link flash, and clutch kit. We're not testing the clutch kit on the dyno because we're pu actually pulling power straight off the crankshaft. Uh, so we're going to see actual engine power here and then we're going to compare it to uh, stock and uh, in the uh, stealth kit which the stealth kit is basically everything uh, so it's a torque link flash uh, stage 2 clutching uh, minus the Y pipe of the stage 1 kit so um, let's go into our first run here run always makes a little bit better power than uh, the hotter runs so now we'll let this thing come down I can kind of show you on that first run it made uh, 184.7 and 121.3 uh, 184.7 was at 80.50 and the 121.3 was at 7900 so let's go into the next run here comes down a little bit on that second run so you lose a little bit of that mound in fact I can put and we'll do that at the end so on this one we made uh, one uh, 183.5 at 8150 and you can see that rpm uh, comes up a little bit from from where it likes to be stock and then we made 119 for torque the way from 79.50 the way to 8100 so super wide torque band you can see that flat uh, torque curve on this one so uh, let's go back into the next run here one did it looked to be about the same as last run uh, our stage one tuning really will keep it keep that peak power about the same uh, the mid-range will come down a little bit just because the pipe acts a little bit shorter as it gets hot so uh, on this one we made uh, 182.8 from 8075 uh, to 8125 and we made 119 over 119 foot pounds of torque from 78.50 to 80.50. So, and you can see oh, our exhaust temps at the end of the run was 90 and 987, almost 1,000 degrees. Beginning of the run was about 750. So let's go in to another run here. take them they're almost carbon copies of each other uh, that's a, a good sign of good dynoing and also uh, uh, valid testing results so uh, this last one we're at 182.3 and we're just shy of uh, 119 from uh, 
for torque here. It looks like the torque low end dropped just a hair, but we did hit 119 at 79.75. So, and end of the run was just under 1,000 degrees. Beginning of the run was 750. Uh, muffler is up to 905 at the end of that run. So the muffler uh, does change a little bit here. runs into it now uh, it did come down just a hair but not too much that run was uh, 181.9 and made 118.6 uh, we'll go into one more run right just shy of a thousand degrees beginning of the run on that one was 783 uh, for pipe temp and in the end of the run for muffler temp was 920 uh, coolant over here, uh, just to let you know it's real world, uh, 108 uh, beginning and ending, uh, that's typical of uh, where you would see it in the field. So uh, this is, you can also see it on the screen right up here, uh, this is pipe temp, this is muffler temp. So let's go into the next run here. This run here, we're at uh, 181.5 and uh, 118.6 for torque. End of the run, we're at 1,007. Uh, beginning of the run, we're at 800. And the muffler's uh, getting a little hotter. We're up to 931 uh, muffler temp. Uh, beginning of the run, 108 for coolant temp. End of the run, uh, 108 so uh, cool and stand uh, very consistent uh, we'll do one more and then we'll put three of them together I uh, average them out and then that'll even be a, a more controlled test group and you can see what that is and then I'll put the, the stock on the screen and the uh, stealth kit on the screen to compare so we can see what just added white pipe does So that was pretty much an identical run to the run before it. Uh, we're at 181.3, uh, 118.9, and 9 of the run we're at 1,000 degrees. Uh, muffler is 9.30 at the end. So we're uh, right where it is. So now let's go like this. We're going to average the last three runs. this and then they're going to save it at stage one So we have the average, now we're going to overlay uh, the stealth kit and then we're going to overlay stock. So you can see it, the, the Y pipe with the stage 1 flash really gains a bunch of, uh, of mid-range power and 
I can actually see, show you what. So we're at uh, stock was 174.7. Uh, the stealth kit 179.1 with a little narrower uh, window up here, but once you put the Y pipe in here, uh, it really knocks it out of the park. So uh, 181.6, and the the torque curve is what you're really going to notice on this stage one kit, and it it really has just a, a ton of mid range torque, and it's just going to pull really hard. So uh, this is uh, the testing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the. Uh, future stuff right when it's released and check out all the cool parts at bikemanperformance.com and all the stuff on torque link at torquelink.com